Yo, I'm Lex Levy and this is Ancient Odysseys. Today we're on the Giza Plateau on the eastern side of the Great Pyramid. We're behind G13 Satellite Pyramid and we're going to explore the Isis Temple and the surrounding structures. Yalvina. And a shot of her devastatingly handsome cigar smoking cameraman. You can edit all this out. Go. Oh. I'm keeping that. <laughs> Follow me as we go explore the Isis temple structures. There's some pillars here and there's, there's a shack. No gate. Temple, but it's all modern restoration work here. You can see by the pattern on the concrete. And look, there's another shaft here. Let's take a look. Holy shit. Wow. Do you see an opening down there? I can see the bottom. I would say that's probably 60 feet. It looks like there's a pipe on the side. Hold on, let me get the flashlight. This 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. You see, see that? <laughs> On the side, to the right. That yeah. right there? Yeah. yeah. Yep. It uh -huh. looks like a pipe. It does look like a piece of metal. Also looks like on the northern side down there that there's an inlet down into this pit. So on this side. Oh, oh yeah, I see. I think okay. it does look like a piece of metal there on the side, about ten feet down. There's and an opening you can there. See that's also where. There's a transition between limestone blocks and the bedrock. Oh, that's a good observation. You're right. Looks like there may have been a floor or something at that level. Interesting features there. And here's another. I wonder if they're connected. Yeah, same depth. There's another opening here. Yep. Do you have a flashlight? Oh, you can see it. It's actually two holes in that block. Mm. One of them's plugged oh, yes. up. Have you ever seen this, Jeep? Nope. There's three more shafts and a false door here.
there is no conventional explanation for these shafts. So the mystery mode remains. Hey, careful, careful. Hey. I don't know if those are go, live wires. Go back. Get, it's yep. a gecko. Oh, there's the bird, worm, bird, and then sphere. Cuckoo. Yeah, cuckoo. All right, so we're going right in front of G1B and G1A now. This is? Yep. Huge chunk. That is. Can we pour a little water on it? Oh. 
beautiful. All right, so we're not quite sure on the identification of this dog, but it's the only one of its kind that we've seen down here. It's a brilliant red color. Thank <laughs> you. 
Pancho. And here we are at Settler Pyramid G1D. So there's a shaft facing the north. modern restoration work and then we're going to take a walk around the Great Pyramid starting on the south side. of the Great Pyramid. Making our way around. Mm. All the casing stones are removed here. modern work.
closing down the plateau for the day, so it's a lot more quiet than it was earlier. So anecdotal story, there was a guy that used to climb the pyramid and he used this side all the way up to the top and back to the bottom, seven minutes. How many times? He used to do it every year. It was like an annual climbing the pyramid thing. And every year he tried to do it faster and faster but can you imagine that? Seven minutes. Seven minutes, all the way to the top and back down to the bottom. Ancient Odysseys and Egypt Eats.